What's up everybody? So I'm super excited. Uh, I have a swarm trap up here in this tree. Um, so uh, this is on my 45 acre farm uh, family home and it's really cool because last year I lost I think three or four swarms, probably three or four swarms um, got released into the wild uh, from my hives. So this year instead of just because I don't have a whole lot of time to be able to check the hives frequently and then split them and do all that as a lot of work and I just purchased the hives um, you know fully grown and ready to ready to swarm last year so I didn't get an opportunity to do that so I lost a lot of swarms even saw one massive swarm fly right over my truck and I just had to wave goodbye to them all so this year I set up swarm traps I'm super excited first year doing it got a swarm what I'm gonna do so here's the plan I'm going to take this box down. I'm going to move all the frames um, in that hive trap over to uh, a new, new boxes. So a new hive box. So I'm going to move them over into this hive box. And I'm going to put a feeder on there and have them all set up. And then I'm going to actually put that hive box right back up in this tree. Um, so that they can, can all come back in because there's a lot out foraging right now. And what I want to do is I want to reduce the number of bees that are lost during the transition or dur during the transfer to the new location. So I'll put the new box with them in there. Uh, queen and uh, cells and comb, everything will be up in there um, in this tree for another day or two. Then I'm going to come back and at night I'm going to put screen over the top entrance, that little, little itty bitty top entrance, and then I'm going to put screen over the front entrance to give them circulation, air circulation, so they don't overheat in this Tennessee sun. Um, and that's going to be at night, so that most of them, if not all the bees, will be back in the box, in the hive. And then I'm going to move them to a different location and I'm going to keep them in there. And the reason I have the feeder, I'll have the feeder on top. Uh, I'm going to have that feeder on there so that I can feed them for probably 24 to 36 to possibly 48 hours. I'm going to keep them in there. Uh, and then we'll videotape that segment as well. So I'm going to get to work here. We're going to get this box down. All right. So i got this ratchet strapped up in here. We're going to get this down. <laughs> So they didn't really start building on that just yet, so that's good because I'm taking them from the hive trap was made out of 10 frame, uh, 10 frame box because uh, the extra space you always need that. Look at all the bees. See, I mean, so if I move this today, all these bees because really very few have come out of this box right now, but all these bees are coming back and they're like, "Where's our home? We've got food and pollen." Uh, we got nectar, we got pollen, we're ready to go here. Where's our home? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight right there. Eight frames. Watch out, little bee. I do not want to squish any of you. You always got to do that real nice, charming voice, you know, just that real sweet voice on. Don't let me squish you. Look at them hanging on right there. So I am, those are faced towards the outside. I'm gonna put them in the same kind of direction here, into this box. So, you up there where you can see Anthony? You're not freaking out on me, are ya? Oh yeah, look at that. See, they built nice fresh comb. See what I did here is I cut along here old comb old black comb and uh has that scent of that queen on it and everything and then uh so they built all this new lighter color white comb and they're building it right in the line like i'd like it to be so they're going to build it right perfect in alignment there down to that bottom part of that frame they're even starting on this back side here see that i mean they've already started to fill it with honey and nectar oh my gosh this is awesome all right so i took these guys out of there like that so i want to move them kind of keep them the exact same way and there we go and i mean they're calm they're just they're busy bees just working along no big deal 
man, look at all them up there. So I'm going to take, now I'm going to take these frames out one at a time. They're calm. I mean, they are not harassing me. I mean, they're not really harassing you either, are they, Anthony? Oh, see how noisy those are? Let me see if I can get down here. Listen to the difference. So these, these in my hand know their queen's gone. But see how that's not noisy at all? Watch. Hear the difference? They know their queen's gone. Their queen's not in their box with them. They know that. So they're all fussing. They're like, hey. I mean, it's just so crazy how quickly they can be alert, alerted to the fact that their queen is not in the same box. So there's some more. There's eggs in there, larva. Man, full on larva. It's only been a week or two. It's only been probably a week and a half. Oh man, they got some cat, no? Not quite cat larva, but man. They got lots of pollen in here. They got nectar in here, making some honey. And they got, they are doing well. Yeah, see, they're all up on top right now, freaking out. They're like our queen. See them all butts in the air and buzzing. Butts in the air and buzzing. Saying, we are pissed at you. You are not our friend right now, Mr. Hive Checker B-Man. Don't worry, guys. I'm the wild dog. It's going to be all right. You're gonna take you're gonna be pollinating my deer food plots and my home. Ah, and see that burr comb there? I'm gonna take that off. I don't want that on there. There she is, right there. Look at that. There's the queen right there. Alright, follow her around. There she is. Healthy as can be. There she goes. Got a good shot of her. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's get this burr comb off here. Make sure I don't. I think she went around to go to the other side. Last thing I want to do is. Squish her. There she goes, she's still in there, so she's right there. Man, oh gosh, that's awesome. So awesome. Now watch, I'll show you in a minute. We're gonna put it put her in here with the others. We're gonna watch how quickly they all calm down in a second here. These guys are probably getting Mad, yep. Yeah, lots of nectar and pollen in here and everything. Good gracious. I'm gonna put the top of the hive on there, like that, like so. I'm put the feeder on next, so that they know, so they can feed them when I've got them shut in for a few days. I'll put the top on. And now, one more click on that. Good. Got that nice and secure. Now, put it back on the tree. And again, the reason I'm putting it back in the tree is simply to let all the foragers that are out and about right now come back to the original location. I need to move this limb now. 
Front facing the same direction as it was. And look at that. That is awesome. I mean, it's a healthy hive. Real darn healthy. So I'm super excited again. This was a hive trap or swarm traps put out and put out three of them. So I caught one swarm so far and hopefully catch more. It's a lot easier than splitting so far. Uh, some people probably argue the different. I just didn't have the time to split and do all that kind of stuff and worry about queens and everything. So um, it's worked out real nice so far. Uh, in the second segment, we will um, update you, uh, we're getting it down and moving it to the new location, keeping them shut in at night. And then we'll update you throughout the process of uh, letting them uh, sit for a day or so. So it's probably gonna be about, I think, been encouraged to let them sit closed in for about 36 hours feed them up here uh, they can't get out up here so I'll put a screen over here and a screen there and leave them shut in for a day or so and then after that uh, when I open them up have a bunch of brush in front of their hive so that uh, they gotta be like something's really really changed and they won't just fly out on autopilot and go forage and then think to come back to this tree I want them to come back to wherever I put this hive box at so all right, stay tuned for that.